so hello everybody so i've recently got this uh, new update on my tesla so it's the tesla vision park assist which is which shows you as you can see here it says you can now choose to enable tesla vision park assist it displays a high fidelity 3d representation of the area around your vehicle including the proximity and shape of nearby objects barrier vehicles and uh, painted road markings so obviously to enable this you'll have to go to vehicle settings autopilot park assist and uh, tesla vision so yeah as, as you can see here it says it's for guidance purpose only and it is not a substitute for an alert driver so yeah i recently got this uh, update i think two or three days back and yeah by by default so if you go to autopilot so by default it was on standard and i had to switch to uh, tesla vision uh, to enable this uh, feature so if i go to standard and if i do like this uh, you'll get this standard representation over here just the standard one uh, which is also a new update uh, on the uh, recent v12 interface update but uh, but if I go here to autopilot and enable Tesla vision so then you can see it shows the 3d representation as you can see here so yeah there's uh, a barrier over there and it also shows like a heat map so if uh, there's anything uh, that's near your vehicle or there's chance of a car to hit those then it will show in this kind of green uh color and also the the front barrier the wall over there so it shows like that so yeah i'll just try to back up now yeah it shows the other car at the back as well and all this uh wall let it go away yeah, yeah. and so whenever I get near a vehicle, it might it can show me that kind of representation, but yeah, not in this case. But sometimes it does. But yeah, now I'm heading to the shopping center, there, which means there will be a lot of cars over there, and the 3D uh, park vision assist feature will come in handy, and I will uh, reconnect when I reach there. So, see you in a while. Okay, I'm heading to the shopping center now, which means the interface should uh, change to a more rather 3D representation. Yeah, as you can see here, it has automatically changed to vision assist, which means there are barriers uh, on the side where I'm likely to hit. So it will show me um, the color so right now uh, I'm not at risk which means it has gone back to the default one the standard vision or standard assist I would say but as I uh, go here let that car pass and yeah obviously there are lots of cars and let me just let's say I'll just try to park over here yeah it automatically changes to more 3d view and yeah so it shows this green color over here and also at the back because i'm likely to hit but uh, yeah obviously i don't want to hit and it also shows how my car has been positioned between the white markings so yeah now now i can safely park the car yeah and that's how it works so i'll go do the shopping come back and also show you more of this example for um on more and more examples on this tesla vision assist so see you in a while okay just done shopping and yeah now heading back home as you can see the 3d uh park assist is active now and yeah if i uh, don't engage I, I mean if I just go to park then that feature is gone but yeah anyways I'm heading back home and as there are barriers in front of me and also 
at the side it's showing this kind of heat map on uh, the side vehicle and I think since there's a fair amount of gap here uh, I can just also show using the camera mm, yeah there's a fair amount of gap in here that's why it's not showing any heat map for the left side not showing any green color or yeah and also the as 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 you can see the passenger was i mean the pedestrian was walking and there was some green color so now i'll just uh, back up and see what else it shows yeah and obviously i think it's a very nice feature previously it was only for uh, new cars without the ultrasonic sensors so for example the new tesla model 3 2024 tesla model 3 but now it has been added to cars with ultrasonic sensors just like this the 2023 tesla model 3 I've parked here for a while now now i will get close to the boom gate obviously to Yeah, so uh, as I as I was close to that barrier, the map changed to uh, 3D mode. So yeah, I think that's I, I think I mean so yeah, this this is how it works. As as soon as it detects some barriers or some obstacles nearby, then the map changes to rather 3D view. Uh, okay, right now there's no obstacles. The uh, road is the road is clear that that's why the park vision assist is not active at this moment so if you could release notes yeah it's called tesla vision park assist yeah the vision park assist i would say the 3d thing i mean even this is 3d but the park vision assist that's how they call it is not active at this moment Okay, so now I'm entering the driveway driveway of where I live and yeah, it's a bit narrow So what I'll do is for now I'll try to park just park here and the map should change to Tesla park uh, vision park assist mode as you can see here yeah so you know, it detects all the barriers uh, that the cameras can see and yeah i think it's a very good good and nice feature and um useful feature i would say and yeah let me know what you think about this feature on the comments below and um we'll see you in the next one